If you're 65 years old, you're eligible for Medicare to help cover your health care expenses during your golden years. Hi, my name is Gabby with PHP. This video will give you a brief overview of Medicare and other health insurance options during your retirement. Feel free to pause this video at any time to read the information. Medicare is a national health insurance program for those age 65 and older and under age 65 with disabilities and with end-stage renal disease. It includes four parts, Medicare Part A, Medicare Part B, Medicare Part C, also known as Medicare Advantage plans, and Part D prescription drugs plans. There's also supplemental plans. Medicare Part A covers your inpatient hospital care, inpatient care in a skilled nursing facility, hospice care, and home health care. It's important to note that you have a deductible per benefit period before Medicare pays. Here's how it works. Most people don't pay a monthly premium for Part A. If they or their spouse paid Medicare taxes while working for at least 10 years. After the annual deductible, Medicare Part B generally covers 80% of your doctor visits, diagnostic tests, lab work, and x-rays. There is a standard Part B premium. It is announced each year. However, you may pay an extra charge on your premium or an income-related monthly adjustment amount. This is based on your modified adjusted gross income from two years ago. Go to Medicare.gov to see the latest costs. Medicare Part C, also known as Medicare Advantage plans, combines Medicare Part A, B, and D. These plans offer other benefits like eye care, and dental coverage. These plans are offered by private companies and are based on where you live. That means you must see covered providers in your local area for medical services, where Original Medicare allows you to see any nationwide provider and facility that accepts Medicare. Most plans require a referral to see a specialist and have a network of providers. Other plans may allow you to see out-of-network providers at a higher cost. The premium for Medicare Advantage plans vary by where you live. Then there's Medicare Part D. This is a drug plan that helps cover the cost of your prescriptions. To avoid a penalty, you need to purchase a Part D plan or have other credible prescription drug coverage. You can purchase Part D through a Medicare Advantage plan or a prescription drug plan through PEHP. The cost for a Part D plan will vary by plan. Since Medicare doesn't pay for everything, you may want to add a supplemental plan to help cover some Medicare eligible expenses not paid by Parts A and B. PEHP has medical, prescription, dental, and vision plans to cover all your health care needs during retirement. You're eligible for PEHP Medicare supplement plans when you enroll in Medicare A and B. You must also be a current or past PEHP member or URS participant. You can see plans and rates online at pehp.org backslash medsup. So which plan is right for you? Well, that choice is personal. It depends on your health care needs, your budget, and your lifestyle. These are your options. You can keep Part A and B and purchase Part D plan. You can combine Part A and B with a PEHP supplemental plan and a PHP Part D plan. Or you can combine Part A and B with a Medicare Advantage plan that includes Part D. It's important to know that you cannot combine a supplemental plan with a Medicare Advantage plan. You'll have to choose one or the other to help cover your expenses not covered by Parts A and B. You can only have one Part D plan.
You can enroll in Medicare three months before age 65, the month you turn 65, or three months after you turn 65. You're automatically enrolled if you get Social Security benefits, are under age 65 and disabled, or if you have ALS. If you are under age 65 and have Medicare Part A and B due to a disability, your Medicare Part A and B begins the 25th month after receiving a disability benefit for 24 consecutive months. Remember, Medicare Part A and B is always effective the first day of the month. Coverage begins according to when you enroll. To enroll in Medicare, just go to the Social Security Administration website at ssa.gov. You don't need to re-enroll again. It's that simple. If you don't apply for Medicare at age 65, you may face penalties for late enrollment. If you plan to work beyond age 65 and stay on an employer health plan as an active employee, you can delay enrollment in Medicare Part A and Part B until you retire or lose active employer coverage. Remember, you can only delay enrollment if your employer has 20 or more employees. You can still enroll in Medicare Parts A and B while covered by another health plan, but you will need to see if the added cost is worth it to you. If you missed your initial enrollment period and don't qualify for special enrollment, you can still enroll during Medicare general enrollment. Remember, Medicare Part A monthly premium may go up 10% you will pay the higher premium for twice the number of years you could have had Part A. Your monthly Part B premium may also go up 10%, but it's for each full 12 months you could have had Part B but didn't sign up for it. This late enrollment penalty lasts for as long as you have Part B. You can find doctors, hospitals, and other providers online at medicare.gov. On this page, you'll also find where to get medical supplies and search for services or tests to see if Medicare covers it. If your spouse is retiring and you're losing medical coverage through their employer, you have options. Ask if your spouse's employer offers early retiree coverage for you. You can enroll in COBRA coverage through the same employer. You can shop for a health plan through the marketplace at healthcare.gov. Thanks for watching this video. If you want more information about Medicare and PHP supplemental plans, join us at a free presentation. Visit our website to see the presentation schedule and to register. You'll also find frequently asked questions publications, and other resources about Medicare.